Have you ever wondered if one of the greatest leaders of all time, Julius Caesar, ever faced any obstacles in his rise to power? We're delving into the annals of history today, to a time when the Roman Republic was at its zenith, and a young Julius Caesar was making his mark. It was around the year 75 BCE, and Caesar, barely in his mid-twenties, was en route to the island of Rhodes to further his education in oratory. Little did he know his journey would take an unexpected, dramatic turn. As the ship cut through the azure waters of the Aegean Sea, a menacing silhouette appeared on the horizon. Pirates. A common peril of sea voyages in those times. The pirates seized the ship, and among the spoils, they found an unexpected prize. Julius Caesar, a nobleman from the most powerful city in the world, Rome. Recognizing the potential windfall, the pirates did what pirates do best. They demanded a ransom. Twenty talents of silver they demanded, a considerable sum in those times. But Caesar, ever the audacious one, laughed at their demand. He suggested, nay demanded that they ask for fifty talents instead. A display of bravado, or a calculated move? Perhaps we'll never know. While waiting for the ransom to be collected, Caesar was held captive. But he was no ordinary captive. He behaved more like a guest or even a host, commanding respect, participating in the pirates' games, exercises and even reciting his own poetry and speeches to them. He promised them with a chilling calmness that he would return one day and crucify them all. The pirates, thinking it was all in jest, laughed along. So there you have it. A tale of kidnapping of pirates and of one of the greatest leaders in history. A tale that serves as a testament to Caesar's charisma, his audacity, and his unwavering determination. Imagine being kidnapped and held for ransom. Now, imagine that happening to one of the most powerful men in history. What would you do if you were held captive by pirates? Would you wait for your ransom to be paid, or would you take matters into your own hands? Imagine being in the shoes of Julius Caesar, captured and held for ransom by pirates. His reaction was nothing short of remarkable. Upon hearing the ransom amount, Caesar laughed. He scoffed at the sum, declaring it was far too low for a man of his stature. Instead, he insisted they ask for more, demonstrating an unparalleled audacity that left his captors stunned. During his captivity, Caesar didn't cower or beg for mercy. Instead, he mingled with the pirates, participated in their games, and even had the audacity to rebuke them for their lack of discipline. He treated them as if they were his subordinates, not his captors. But perhaps the most audacious of all was his promise to the pirates. He vowed to hunt each one of them down once he was free, a promise he would later keep. In the face of adversity Caesar showed no fear but rather a strange kind of audacity. What if you had the chance to take revenge on those who wronged you, would you take it? Picture this. Julius Caesar, fresh from captivity, a free man once more. But freedom isn't enough, it's time to settle scores. In the aftermath of his release, Caesar, far from being cowed by his recent ordeal, was incensed. His pride was wounded, his honor tarnished, he was determined to bring his captors to justice. And so, he set about raising a fleet. Now, you might think this would be a tall order for a man just released from captivity, but this was no ordinary man, this was Julius Caesar. He rallied his resources, called upon his contacts, and in no time at all, a formidable fleet was at his disposal. The stage was set for a showdown. With his fleet ready, Caesar embarked on a mission of retribution. The Mediterranean, once a placid playground for pirates, became a hunting ground. The hunter, in this case, was Caesar. And his prey, the pirates who had dared to kidnap him. One by one, he hunted them down. Their hideouts, once safe havens, were now traps. There was no escape from the wrath of Caesar. He showed no mercy, exacting a revenge as cold as it was calculated. But this was more than just revenge. It was a statement, a declaration to the world that Julius Caesar was not a man to be trificked with. He demonstrated his power, his determination, and his unwillingness to let a wrong go unpunished. The pirates who had once held him captive, met a grim end at the hands of their former hostage. They had underestimated Caesar, and it was a mistake they paid for dearly. And so, Julius Caesar turned a dire situation into a demonstration of his power and determination, a story that echoes through the ages. In the face of adversity he stood tall, and in doing so, set the stage for the legendary figure he would become. The tale of Caesar's kidnapping and subsequent revenge is a testament to his indomitable spirit, a spirit that would shape the course of history.